A 60-foot ladder is put up against a building. The base of the ladder is 8 feet away from the building. How high will the ladder reach? So let's draw this scenario here. So let's say that this is the ground. And this is the building. This is the building. And then we're going to have a 60-foot ladder. And it's leaning up against this building. So the length of this ladder is 60 feet. That is a 60-foot ladder. And then the base of the ladder is 8 feet away from the building. So this distance right over here is 8, is 8 feet. And they say, how high will the ladder reach? So they want to figure out, or they want us to figure out, this height right over here. We need to figure out this height. And as we see, assuming that this is a normal building and it's built at a right angle to the ground, this triangle formed by the ladder, the building, and the ground is a right triangle. So the Pythagorean theorem will apply. And the Pythagorean theorem tells us that the square, or the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides, is going to be equal to the square of the longer side, or the square of the hypotenuse. And that longest side is a side opposite the 90 degree angle, and that's the hypotenuse. So this tells us, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that 8 squared 8 squared plus h squared plus h squared, h for height, is going to be equal to 60 squared. Is going to be equal to 60 squared. And 8 squared is 64. 64 plus h squared is equal to 3,600. 3,600. Subtract 64 from both sides. So let's subtract 64 from both sides. And we get h squared. h squared is going to be equal to, what is this, 3,536. And then this doesn't pop out into my brain as some type of perfect square, so let's take a calculator out. So let's try it out. So we want to take the, the square root of 3,536. So second square root. You see a little square root symbol there in orange. That's why I have to press the orange button first. Square root of 3,536. And I get 59.46. And they want us to round our answer to the nearest tenth. So 59.46. 6 is greater than or equal to 5. So round up. So it rounds up to 59.5. So h is going to be equal to, maybe I should say approximately equal to, I already forgot the number. 59.5, 59.5, and we're done.